and welcome to another Make It Monday. I'm Sarah with Beyond Fabric and today we are going to show you how to make a kitty cat stocking or stocking for your kitty cat that looks like a fish. Last year we did the dog bone stocking which is available as a free download on our website and there's a video here on our YouTube channel www.beyondfabricinc.com. Isn't that cute? So for your feline friends we're going to show you how to make one of these. You can do it as a quilt as you go or a little bit more simple. So go and download the pattern again at www.beyondfabricinc.com and then I'm going to show you how to put it together. So when you download your pattern, you're going to end up with three pieces. So let's start putting these together. This will be your first one. Double check and make sure that this is one inch. I actually didn't do that. Oh, we're good. On your second piece, I like to go ahead and cut this line that we're going to attach to side A. And it says, take to side A. So, not difficult at all. Make sure to use your paper scissors. So now that we have that cut off, our line and box is going to meet perfectly right there. And go ahead and tape it. And do the same thing with C, the side that will be taping to B. Go ahead and cut on that line right here. And then it's going to match up right there, and we have our pattern. Now cut out around your pattern piece. Once you have it cut all the way around, I like to go ahead and cut any stray pieces off the back side and tape those down as well. And now we have our little fish pattern. So if you look, this is the fold, so when we go to cut something out, it's going to be on the fold so that both the left side and the right side of our fish will be the same. You'll also see a dotted line. You're going to fold on this dotted line, so you have a nice indention there, crease it. So where this dotted line is, that's actually going to be your second pattern piece for the pocket part. So this will be our pattern piece for the pocket part, and this will be the pattern piece for our back and lining. So on your fish, you're going to have the lining for the back and the back of the back and then the front of the pocket and the lining of the pocket. Again, we're gonna show the quilt as you go method just so that you can see how to do that, but you can always do this in one solid piece of fabric and another solid piece of fabric instead of mixing the two. On this one, we did the tail and the top part as a separate piece and the back is the same, the tail and the top is a separate piece, but we didn't actually quilt this one. When you do this method, we're going to be using fusible fleece to stabilize and interface it. On this one, we're going to have the batting, which will add a nice loft to it and stabilize it. We have our batting piece, which covers what we need to have covered. And then we have a tail piece, which will cover more than what we need covered. So we're gonna move it down a little bit down to the bottom because I'm going to end up having the seam of my tail be right here when I go to cut out my pattern. So I'm gonna use that to line up on it. So make sure we have room over here. And if we flip it, we still have plenty of room over here. So 
So this will give me plenty to stitch a quarter inch of the next fabric. So our strips are anywhere from one and a half to two and a half inches. You can make them any size you want. I did two and two and a half inch for my strips. So I have a variety of strips that I'm going to use. So you have a two and a half, a two, a three, a there's another two and a half. So these are going to be sewn on the rest of it, and then we're going to cut out our actual pattern. So to start with, this one will be face up. Take your next piece and put it face down. If you have a directional print, make sure it's going in the right direction. <laughs> now they're face up. So these two you're going to line up and sew a quarter inch here. So we have our two pieces to start our quilt as you go technique. This technique you will follow through the rest of this piece. So starting here, we're doing a quarter inch. Once you have made that stitch across, remove your pins, flip your fabric up, make sure you had it in the right direction, and press. Now we need to join our next piece. So again, right sides together, lining up this edge, we're going to sew a quarter inch here, flip up and press, and continue on. Now we need to cut this out, so we're going to cut this side and then we're going to flip it and cut that side. Because it's quilted, I'm not going to try to fold it and cut both at one time, but if you feel brave, go right ahead and do that. Now you need to flip it. And before I flip it, I'm going to make a mark with my friction pin so I know where my middle is. So I can line it up with it. And I can still see my line here from the back side so that it still follows along with that seam.
and now cut this side. now we have our pocket piece. Now that we have our pocket piece cut out, again if you wanted to do one solid fabric you can um, or just do the two. Now with the liner of the pocket piece we're just going to have one and it doesn't need to be stabilized. So on this one we're going to put it on the fold. we're going to cut out one liner piece, which will be the entire piece here. And now we have one liner piece to go with our fish piece. So let's go ahead and we're going to sew these two together at the top using a quarter inch seam. So right sides together, sew straight across. Once we have pressed that top, we're going to smooth everything, line up all our edges from the liner and the front and we're going to put some clips around the edge of it and put it over to the side while we work on the back piece. we have our liner piece for the back, which will be one solid piece, and then the back of the back will be two pieces because we want to do, again, the fin, or uh, fin, the tail separate as the body part. So it's going to be these two pieces, so let's go ahead and join these pieces together. You see this is a little bit wider because, of course, the tail goes out a little past, so we're just going to put these right sides together and sew straight across. We have joined our two pieces together. I have pressed the seam open and now we are going to fuse fusible interfacing to it. The fusible fleece is what we're using. And so this again, we want this to be where our tail is so make sure you have plenty to work with when you go to cut it out. Here's our tail. You can see the darker shading. That's where we want it to line up. So everything looks good. So let's fuse this piece to the other piece. Here we are. So following the manufacturer's instructions, we have fused the fusible fleece to the back of it. And now we need to do the same thing we did with a pocket and cut out our piece. However, we are using the full piece now because this is the back of our fish. So make sure not to have it folded. We need the whole piece. Now we have the back of our fish, the pocket of our fish, and we need to cut the liner of the whole back out. Now we have all our pieces, so let's put this fish together. So now we need to layer our pieces up. So we have our back lining piece, which you will see from behind your pocket, your pocket piece, and then our back. So we are going to sandwich this all together. 
before we do that, we need to go ahead and put our little tie that we're going to hang this on. So you can hang it wherever you'd like. If you want to hang it at the tip top, you can. If you want to hang it over to the side here, you can. If all your stockings hang angled at one side, or if it angles the other side, you can hang it over here. I am going to put it right here. So you need to put it facing in, and we're actually going to go ahead and baste this down. So we will be sewing the whole thing together using a 3 8 seam allowance. So go sew at a quarter inch this just one time. So now you see we have basted this in, and the reason why is because we want to make sure with all the treats that we are giving our feline friend, we want to make sure it doesn't get too heavy and pull off the tab. So make sure that is secure. So now go back to layering. Lining everything up, all your raw edges. And then when we go to put this on top, we're just going to take all those clips that we have and just add the new layers. Now we have all the layers clipped together. We need to leave a spot so we can flip this. Do not leave it where your pocket is at, at that seam. That would be too thick to try to hand stitch close when you go to close the hole. So we are going to actually leave it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and mark so I don't sew the whole thing shut. So I am going to leave this open so I can flip it. Let's go get sewing. Now remember, we are going to be using a 3 8 seam allowance now instead of the quarter inch that we have used to base that ribbon into place. So make sure to adjust your seam allowance and start stitching. When you get to your hole to where you are going to leave to flip it, back stitch. When you stop and when you start back up. I'll continue all the way around. When you come to a corner like this, before we get to our tail, make sure to put the needle down and pivot. When you get to where your pocket is joined, back stitch there as well because again you're putting treats in there which will be putting pressure on that seam. You also will probably need to use a bigger needle if you don't already have one in there, a 14 or a 16. We are back to where we started. Go ahead and cut your thread and then we're going to use pinking shears or you can use your scissors and cut little snips out of it so that these curves will lay flat. So except for the area where we are going to flip it, everything has been pinked and clipped so the bulk is removing especially in our pointy areas where we want a point. So now let's flip him. So now we need to flip it through the pocket layer and the back layer. Okay, now we're going to get our handy dandy vampire steak here, our stiletto that Mr. Grouchy in town makes for us. They're awesome stocking stuffers. Once you have all those points, we're going to give it a nice pressing. 
where that hole is that we left. Make sure those raw edges are turned in and go ahead and press it in place. Again, this has many possibilities. You could do it with one fabric, two fabrics, 20 fabrics if you want to. Use up all your scraps. And with that technique that we showed, the quilt as you go, you can actually use any shape to cut out afterwards, which we will have additional videos later on showing more of that. Now you can either go to the machine and sew over the hole. However, I would recommend hand stitching that closed so that it stays nice and smooth because we're not top stitching anywhere else. So hand stitch that closed and go hang up your cute little fish stocking for your little feline friend. Thank you again for joining us for another Make It Monday. Remember, you can always follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Make sure to subscribe so you get notified every time we make another video. See you again.